big speaking part. And other speeches I have to memorize. As an actor, I do have to work hard and longer to others to learn life, but I'm determined. I don't need to brag, but just to prove a point. We don't know how far we can go. And others shouldn't think they know either. On telly, I get more awards. Often, I get parts. I get girls with overprotective mothers. <laughs> they are afraid they're going to have sex, or they had sex. And a big reveal is pregnancy. <laughs> Need have been great parts to play. But there's other stories out there. There are stories about girls with Down syndrome. And, and there are other stories that are not about having Downs. My number is Down syndrome. But there's more to me than that. Why can I be a murder witness? Or even better, a murderer. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> so I am hoping to change attitudes to encourage the producers to see the actor, not the disability, to see difference as adding weakness, not the limiting the character or the story because stories are about life, which is never just one thing. In the real world, we love music, we argue with our parents. We fall in love, we set out the telly, we screw up. For what it makes love interesting for everyone, it's different. There are girls and mirrors, girls you can't see. Short, young, whatever, and we all living a life. As well as trying to change attitudes, I love working with others to help them achieve their dreams. I am a trustee of the Oyster Project, a charity founded by disabled people and run by disabled people. Thanks to the Art Council findings, we have engaged a brilliant production team to put on the Infant King, which I am co-directing. I also have friends, members of Ulster, to develop their acting skills. So we need to be aware of the labels, the labels they put on others, the labels they put on us. Drama helps with that. For you to broaden your minds and walk in other people's shoes. I have Down syndrome, but that's not all I am. You have blue eyes, but that's not who you are. Let's escape from our labels and to escape and free ourselves because that's when life gets interesting. 
not when we are free to be overcome by. Thank you for listening.